Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Earth collided with another planet? Yeah, I know, it sounds like some sci-fi craziness, but just imagine it for a sec. The beautiful blue marble we call home smashed into another planet like a wrecking ball hitting a piñata. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen anytime soon, but let's just say it did. We'd be in for some serious chaos. And by serious, I mean the 2012 type of stuff. Think about it. All the stuff we take for granted, like the air we breathe, the ground we stand on, and the pizza we order in, would be completely messed up. But hey, I don't want to be a downer. Let's find the silver lining in this dark cloud. But the only question that's standing before you is, are you in? If then, tag along. As we all know, the solar system is a big, chaotic place, and we have plenty of rocky neighbors floating around us. And let's be real, we don't always know what they're up to. Just like that weird neighbor who never leaves the house, you never know what they're doing inside. Most solid surfaces in our solar system have craters, and it's no different from Earth's neighbors. However, because of our planet's geological processes, the evidence of craters is usually destroyed pretty quickly. But that's not the case for bodies like Mercury or or the moon, where the craters are everywhere. Now, you might be thinking about Jupiter, right? Well, yes, Jupiter might seem to be protecting us from incoming asteroids, but actually no. Jupiter is like the bouncer at a club, except it doesn't catch every asteroid that tries to get in. Some asteroids still manage to slip past Jupiter's orbit and end up on a collision course with Earth. And let's not forget about comets, which have highly elongated orbits that can bring them dangerously close to Earth or other major bodies. Don't worry, it's not all gloomy. NASA and the other space agencies have been working tirelessly to monitor and track these space rocks. So, we can have an early warning if one is heading our way. They are like the neighborhood watch, except for space. It's important to remember that impacts from space rocks are rare, but they can have devastating consequences. Just take a look at the Chicxulub impact that wiped out the dinosaurs. So, while it may not be likely, it's always good to be prepared. But let's face it, we all love a good catastrophe, especially if it involves two giant balls of rock smashing into each other. So, the first thing we need is to find a planet that's big enough to cause some serious damage. I mean, we could go for something small like Mars, but where's the fun in that? Let's go big or go home, right? So, let's pick Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. I mean, it's not like we don't have any other options, right? We have, but we'll get through those. Well, the good news is that, most likely, they would simply bounce off each other, like a couple of rowdy teenagers at a mosh pit. I mean, can you imagine the sight of that? It would be like the ultimate game of cosmic bumper cars. But let's say that somehow, by some freak accident, they did collide. The result would be catastrophic. The impact would be so intense that both planets would be completely obliterated. I'm talking about a collision so violent that it would make a head-on collision between two semi my trucks look like a fender bender. Well, the debris from the collision would form a new solar system. Pretty cool, right? But wait, there's a catch. It would be a cold, lifeless, and completely barren solar system. No chance of a sci-fi space opera happening there. Now let's take another planet. How about Mars? Now, I would say a collision with Mars is more probable than with Jupiter. I mean, they're not exactly racing against each other in a cosmic game of chicken, right? Well, actually, they kind of are. You see, the orbits of Earth and Mars are constantly changing due to the gravitational pull of other planets in our solar system. So, there's always a chance that the paths could cross. What would happen if they did collide? Well, first off, Mars is much smaller than Earth, so it wouldn't exactly be a fair fight. Sorry, Martians, but we're taking this one home. On impact, Mars would be completely obliterated, leaving behind a massive debris field. But what about Earth? Well, the impact would be catastrophic to say the least. Next, let's take Venus. You see, Venus is around the same size as Earth, so it would be a pretty even match. On impact, both planets would be completely obliterated, leaving behind a massive debris field. But here's when things get really interesting. You see, Venus is a bit of a troublemaker. It's known for having a runaway greenhouse effect, which has caused its surface temperatures to soar to over 800 
degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, which is the closest planet to the Sun. Now, imagine all of that heat and energy being released in a single explosion. It would literally be like a nuclear bomb going off on steroids. The impact would send shockwaves rippling through space, potentially causing other planets to be thrown off course. But wait, it gets even worse. The explosion would also release massive amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This would cause a super greenhouse effect on Earth, leading to temperatures that would make even the hottest summer day feel like a walk in the park. Say goodbye to polar ice caps, folks, but let's not dwell on the negatives. There's always a silver lining, right? Well, sort of. If Earth and Venus did collide, we could potentially mine the debris field for resources. I mean, who needs oil when you've got a whole bunch of pulverized Venetian rocks, right? But that only makes sense if you're alive. Now, what if we go to the extremes? How about we hit the sun? Now, I know that might sound rubbish, but still, imagine what would happen. You see, the sun is a massive ball of hot gas, and the earth is a tiny speck of rock and dirt in comparison. The sun's diameter is about 109 times bigger than the earth's, and its mass is 333,000 times greater. That's a pretty big difference. Now, let's imagine that earth somehow manages to collide with the sun. The first thing that would happen is that our planet would be completely shrunk. The heat and pressure would be so intense that the Earth would essentially disintegrate. So much for our beautiful blue planet. But that's not all. The impact would also trigger a massive explosion on the Sun's surface. This explosion would send shockwaves throughout the solar system, disrupting the orbits of all the other planets. So, not only would Earth be destroyed, but the entire solar system would be thrown into chaos. Well, I hate to break it to you, but we'd all be toast. Literally, our bodies would be incinerated in a matter of seconds, leaving behind nothing but a cloud of ash. Well, bombarding the Earth with another planet sounds terrific, but what if our current technology would be the next villain powerful enough to destroy us? That is, what if the chatbot turned evil? That goes beyond our imagination, right? Check out our channel to find out what would truly happen if the chatbot turned evil.